pleasure to introduce my fellow classmate, Chloe DeHaan. Hello, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak, and I'm sure you won't regret it. I've been going to SWAL for all three years of middle school. Throughout the years, I've made, made many amazing memories and great friendships. Although it is sad to think that we are graduating from this amazing school, I will always keep these fun memories and cherish them. Teachers at this school have provided fun and educational ways to give us the knowledge we all know today, and I will always be thankful for that. Over the years, I have grown and developed closer to Judaism because of what I have learned. Sadly, throughout the year, most of us, including myself, were excited to graduate and start the next chapter in our lives. But towards the end of the year, it really hit me that we are leaving this school, and to be honest, it kind of scared me. Even though high school sounds great and all, I will still miss Hebrew Day. I'll always remember all the fun times I've had with my classmates and friends, like playing Disneyland Junior on the slide, trying to pull an all-nighter at our first Shabbaton with Maura Eden, some of our failed attempts to prank Maura Weiser, seeing the first boy tooth fairy, you know who you are, and many more memories. The good times may come and go, but memories last forever. I would like to first thank off my family who are here for me and who have helped me throughout these years here at Swell. My Judaic and secular teachers who have guided me to learn more, especially Maura Weiser for helping me through good and hard times. Rabbi Cohen and Rabbi Weiser for leading our school. Jackie for being one of the best front desk ladies. And last but not least, my friends who I can always count on and who are always there for me. Thank you for a great middle school experience. I'd now like to introduce my fellow classmate and twin brother, Ness Dahan. Hello to everyone here, Bokar Tov. And for those of you that don't speak Hebrew, that means good morning. I hope all of your days are going well. I want to say Mazel Tov to everyone who is graduating and to all the parents. I can't believe that I'm already graduating eighth grade. I felt like yesterday I walked into Swell not knowing what to expect. But because of all the good experiences and valuable things I learned here, I'm gonna miss it. <clears throat> in sixth grade, it was hard for me to get used to being in middle school, but I progressed through the years as I became more and more comfortable. It helped when I got older, and I've made some of the best friends at this school in my life. It's always been very good to have amazing friends, especially when transitioning schools. Now that I look back, I had a lot of fun. This school has helped me become a better person. Because of this school, I'm going to Yeshiva next year. Swal San Diego Hebrew Day School has inspired me to become a better Jew. But not only that, all my secular subjects are more interesting to me now. I feel like every single one is somewhat fun. There is something I like in every class. They are hard and you have to motivate yourself, but it's worth it. There are so many great memories throughout my middle school years. In sixth grade, I learned about Disneyland Junior. I also had more liot and learned how to read Hebrew. In seventh grade, I became friends with many people in my class and started learning very seriously. We also got the seventh grade Hebrew restaurant canceled. In eighth grade, I had a lot of fun on the football team. <coughs> I hope I have to have a lot of fun in the Israel trip this year. Now I would like to thank many special people in my life. First, I would like to thank my parents for everything they do, waking up early and staying up late so I can be a so-called good student. Thank you to my teachers and rabbis for instilling Judaism and good character traits into me, especially Rabbi Hollander. Thank you for everything you've done. also for dealing with me all year, but that's usual. <laughs> Last but not least, thanks to my friends who have made me laugh for the past three years and made my life a brighter place. I'd also like to thank my sister for being there for me always when I forget my homework and letting me have a copy. <laughs> I'd like to introduce my fellow classmate and my friend, Blake Dechavich. Over my time here at Swall, I've had some of the most memorable times in my life. I've developed so many friendships. What I cherish about them most is that they will all laugh in some way, shape, or form. My very first days in middle school was when most of us met each other for the first time. And now we're graduating together on this very special day. I would like to begin by thanking my parents for sending me to such an amazing school and for all that they have done for me throughout my education here at Swall. Next, I would like to thank my fellow graduates for all the bonds, friendships, and memories we have created together. 
Congratulations. I think that I think that by me living at the school for such a long time and realizing certain things about the Jewish community, it makes me want to help and contribute to it more. The values and morals that I've learned here throughout my time will stay with me forever. I've learned many skills during my time here. I would like to thank Rabbi Hollander and Mr. Weiser for all the Jewish knowledge that they have taught me that I know now. I would like to thank Ms. Nona for all the grammar knowledge that I'm graduating with and Ms. Hello for all the math that she's taught me. I would, like, I would also like to thank Mr. Marr for all the historical knowledge that he has taught me and Mr. Besser for all the scientific knowledge that he has given me as a student. Last but not least, I would like to thank all the staff and other students who I have encountered here in my time at this school for all the memories and lessons you have all given me. I would like to end this speech with a quote. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. By Steve Jobs. It is my pleasure to call up fellow graduate Jonas Jacobs. Hello. Shalom. Morning. This school means something to all of us. It's not just a hashtag on a picture that you come back to after a year. This school isn't just the rain that rarely shows up. This school is in all of us. It means so much to each and every single one of us. It's branded in our mind. It's the sun to our San Diego, the sea to our beach. Small San Diego is a second home for all of us. You don't get to choose your family, but you, but you do get to choose your friends. But it seems to make the wrong choice. I'm just joking. <laughs> Two years ago, I was planning on leaving, but I didn't. And the year after that, I was planning on leaving again. But you know what held me back? No, it wasn't Mr. Weiser's candy. It was my awesome friends. I've had some of these awesome friends since preschool, and then they're my school friends. I'm just joking, again. See, this school goes above and beyond learning. They teach you math, English, science, and that procrastination is apparently a bad habit. Overall, the school strives for excellence and knows that everyone is destined to become a great person. Even if you know what you're learning or you don't even know anything, the school left a mark on all of us, and I'm glad that the school can only do good for us. I would like to thank all of the school faculty for all of the hard work. I'd like to thank Mrs. Siegel. I'd like to thank Maura Steffi, Maura Leahy, Mrs. T, but I'll always remember her as Miss Taft. I'd like to thank Maura Wokey, Mrs. Donnelly, Maura Daniela, <coughs> definitely Mrs. Adams, Mr. Weiser, Mrs. Rivard, Mr. Dawson and Ray, and absolutely, absolutely my three favorite teachers, Mr. Marr, Mr. Bessler, and Gigi. I'd, la um, I'd like to thank my parents for helping me with everything that I learned, even through the hard times. Now, mom, dad, a lot of kids are gonna say today that their parents are the best, but they're all lying because you guys are the best parents. <laughs> But lastly, and most importantly, I would like to thank all of you guys, all of my friends. Without you guys, this year wouldn't be the same. If one of you guys was missing, then it would not be the same. And if someone stayed till the end, it still wouldn't have been the same. You guys make this year the best year ever. So thank you all, thank you guys, all of you. You are all the best of the best. It is my pleasure to bring up my fellow classmate and best friend, Dobie Lapp. Good morning and welcome to our graduation. I've been in the school for 12 years. They've all been amazing. From all the years that I can remember, there are some really good memories. The best memory that I had was when we went to the safari park. At the safari park, we had so much fun. It was like a huge sleepover. That night, I got a, little, a lot closer to everyone, and the next day, we didn't have school. And I hope the Israel trip will be the most memorable of all. This school has helped me a lot academically um, in both Judaic and secular subjects. I learned how to read, write, and use different techniques in English and Hebrew. I even learned a whole new language, Hebrew. I've grown a lot in this school. Because of this school, I think I have the potential to go to, go to a good college and get a good job. In my time here at Swell, 
I have made a lot of friends. Over the years, I became more friendly with everyone. I may not see some of them for a long time, but I hope in the Israel trip we can have the best time and never forget it. I don't think there's any other school like school. Every morning, a new start. I usually walk in at 8.30, go to all my classes at the end of the day, and I'll go home happy. And that's how every day was since day one. I look at things the entire staff for teaching me and helping me if I wasn't doing good in the class and for making it just a fun environment. I would also like to thank my friends for being the most awesome people ever. I'll never forget them. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my parents for being the best and loving me for wherever I am. My experience as well has some, had some up and down, ups and downs. There, there was, there was rocky times. In sixth grade, it wasn't so good, but in seventh grade, we all became friends. It's been like that since. I'm so proud of all the kids in my class. I think we all have grown a lot, and I think we're all ready for high school. I'm going to miss the school a lot, and I hope I can come back and visit. It's my pleasure to introduce my fellow classmate, Jacob Benner. Thank you. Thank you all for coming to our graduation. Over the past 11 years of my time at the school, I've had many memories, mostly good times. I've made many friendships and created bonds with the people in my class. I'd say one of the best memories I've had so far is going on to the Sacramento trip, and I know I'll be able to top that on our upcoming Israel trip. The variety of classes and dual curriculum have made a unique experience that has given me skills that help me in the future. Among these skills is the skill of leadership. Leadership is a very important skill, but it takes one more skill to allow people to be able to conquer anything. The <clears throat> that skill is collaboration. With these two skills at hand, anything is possible. I'd like to thank the teachers for giving me these skills. Another thing that the school has done for me is make our class tight knit. The largest class I have is only 20 people. For most of you, that seems like a small class, but for us, that's large. The smallest class I have is only three people. There's a huge advantage to having these smaller classes. The teacher are able to help each student individually, and that's something I can't thank them enough for. So, before my parents stop recording me and the next person's parents start to pay attention, I'd like to thank the staff and faculty members who have helped me grow and develop over the years. Also, I'd like to thank my family for supporting me and helping me. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my parents for going above and beyond and helping me and supporting me in all my activities. Even if they embarrass you sometimes, you have to remember they decided to have you and you have to thank them for that. <laughs> and now it's my pleasure to introduce my friend and fellow classmate, Ezzy Levin. Okay, so I'm a really bad public speaker, so to break the ice, a joke. What do you call a guy who was born in Columbus, grew up in Cleveland, and then died in Cincinnati? Dead. <laughs> 10 years is a long time, and I'm sure you parents know this, but 10 years can go by really quickly, and that's what seemed to happen here at Small. 10 years of good times and bad times, happy times and sad times, fun times and boring times, and so many others I can't even remember. Friends are really important in school, not just here, but at all schools. But at Swall, you get 20 or 30 people to be friends with, so you better make friends with as many of them as possible. And that's why I'm really appreciative to have so many friends here. Like I said before, I've been going here for 10 years, so the friends I've had here have been my friends my entire life. Thankfully enough, I have some really good friends here. And because they're not normal people, and I don't mean you guys are not normal in a bad way, being weird is awesome. But if you guys were normal, I don't think you guys would deal with my crazy antics all the time. Being a leader is important in life. And I'll tell you, when I first came to Swall, I was the last person you wanted as a leader. I was too shy to give directions, and I was afraid people wouldn't want to be my friend because I would seem too bossy. But now I know that being a leader and following directions is a part of life, which is unfortunately a part of life I'm still having trouble dealing with myself. But all personal problems aside, I believe now, that now, thanks to Swall, I can be a leader when a leader is needed. I would like to thank my parents for sending me to this wonderful school. I know that I've come home some days and yelled, I wish I could be homeschooled, or I wish I could go to Chabad. But I know in the end, this school was the right choice for me. I would also like to thank my grandparents for supporting me throughout my entire life and throughout my education here. I would like to thank all my teachers for being there for me all the way, for missing out and helping me, helping me type out my speech, not just editing it, editing it, but teaching me correct grammar as well, to Mr. Moore giving me a second chance to pass social studies last summer, and Mr. Bessler and Ms. Rivard pushing me to do my best through science fair. I would like to thank the rabbis of the school, Rabbi Weiser and Rabbi Cohen, a special thanks to Rabbi Hollander for teaching me my Judaic knowledge. Gemara, Chumash, Davening, and all those things I know because of you. 
Although this isn't the absolute end because I'm going to Israel with most of you. This is it. It's the end. I'm going to high school with only one other small student, and I don't know how many of you are going to NCSY events. I guess there will always be the alumni reunions. So this is the end. It was fun while it lasted. I'm going to miss you all, and hopefully next year, and not just next week, in Jerusalem.